about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now we bring you the coin toss. It's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Syracuse is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. Taken at the five. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he just gets rid of it. their own 25-yard line. Second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They come out in a five-wide set. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Good open field tackle. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. He goes out of bounds at the 47. Gets out to about the 48-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled at the 37-yard line. Not a real fancy play here. Just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. They come out on an empty backfield. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. From the 37-yard line, it's second down. He's under some heat, and he's going to come up with a sack. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. This is the ninth play of this drive. He drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires out to his receiver, and they make the stop at the 29. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense, and in this case, he did. Nice job. They'll bring him down at the 38. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. Linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. Pass 
works out to the tight end, and he's got the first down. Tackle made at the 40. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And down he goes at the 39-yard line. Backs got it on the quick throw. Tackle at the 32-yard line. The pass good for maybe seven yards. They executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. And they could really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. That's a great tackle at the 34-yard line. Under heavy pressure. Throws it in a hurry. He's pushed out of bounds around the 44-yard line. He's into the open field. Runs it right. Nice pickup. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Call game of six yards. That makes it first and ten. Immediately. Again, he'll get the call. He's knocked out of bounds right around the six-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Brought down right around the four-yard line. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. It's second and goal. Four yards out. The Wildcats saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the action. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Tenth play of the drive. He gets rid of this one. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Kentucky is looking to go up by three. He gets it up, and the field goal is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 20. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Nice run, and he 
he's brought down. And they push him out at about the 27 yard line. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. The wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was, and he made sure to get the route at least to that point, so when he made the catch and got hit, he had the first down. He's tackled around the 32-yard line. Credit those two defenses in that first quarter, or blame the offenses for a lack of production. The Wildcats lead 3-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. And he throws it away. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Tackle made at the 49-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Kentucky has a three-point lead. Steps out right around the 46-yard line. Takes the ball right. He's taken down around the 45-yard line. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. On the run. Tackled for a loss. One-yard loss for the halfback. That makes it third and eleven. Here's third and 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. They go with a screen incomplete. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. It was a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. 
And down he goes at the 44-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kentucky holds a field goal lead. Fires it out, and he's tackled to the 38-yard line. That brings him second and five. And they make the stop at the 29 yard line. That makes it second and six. Here we go, G, get off the field. Quick strike to the receiver. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. That makes it first and goal. Gets it out to him again. Touchdown, Wildcats. And he tacks on the extra point. So a five-play, 43-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure when it was thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. That one will put the offense in a hole, and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Slings it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 28. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. their own 28-yard line. It's first down. Caught enough for the first down. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He tackles him for a loss. They couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage on that one. Well, I didn't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. Caught open field. And he's level at the 31. to the tailback. Tackle made at the 16. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. The 10. The junior makes the catch. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal.
just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. So here we go. It's third and goal from the two-yard line. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. And a nice move to finish it off. Touchdown. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. And he adds the extra point. Syracuse to kick this one off. Steps out of bounds at the three-yard line. The offense will come out again hoping to have similar results as their last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Kentucky is up by three. Down he goes, around the 14-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Out of bounds, right around the 20. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Defensive dominance through two quarters of play. We go to halftime. Kentucky's got a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always. To lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, they can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half of the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Completely stopped immediately. He makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Three down, three down. Zips it to the back. He's pushed out of bounds around the 48-yard line.
Gets it. He's in space. Knocked out of bounds at about the 33 yard line. Smell the end zone. Touchdown, Syracuse. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 75-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 14-10. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Drop back a yard. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. in trouble he's got it out to his tight end and he's taken down around the 44 yard line they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers makes the catch and look out he's knocked out of bounds at the 48 and he makes it out to about the 47 yard line Drive. 
He makes his way to about the 22. Fires out to his wideout. Inside the 10. What a play, and that is first and goal. He's taken down around the one yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want to They don't want to know this. That brings him second and goal. And he tackles him hard at the six-yard line. Well, he's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber carrier. So here it is, crucial third down as they try to take the lead. Gets to about the five-yard line. It's up, and it is good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 24-yard line. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. Last drive ended with as good a result as you can hope for, and I'm sure they'd like to replicate that here. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack the defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the mark. Syracuse is up one. And he's tackled at the 44. Might have been some early movement up front. Ball start. Offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 39. He's wrapped up for the sack. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense are on. It's third down and 15 to go. Ball on the 31. That's three down and one to go. Syracuse up by one. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. We might look back on this game when it's all over and say that's the point where they won the football game with that stop. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. They'll bring him down at the 32-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. 
It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He's to the 40. And they make the stop around the 47-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That's good here, man. Two yards. That makes it second and eight. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Regular, 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 regular. Six, six. Six, six. That's a great tackle at the 41. Loss of eight yards on the board. Third and long now after the sack. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. And they got him for a loss. That makes it fourth and long. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball. Syracuse. Up a point. Runs it right and can't get away. Nice tackle. That makes it second and ten. Here's an opening. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 34. That's good. Three yards. Four down, four down. That makes it four down. Four down. And they push him out at the 40. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. This is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Got it and brought down immediately. yard line. That's a, good 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 First down. a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Tackle made around the 45 yard line. Six. 
And down he goes around the 35 yard line. Number two makes the tackle at the 35 yard line. First down. from the 35 yard line. First down. receiver in a hurry. Very good tackle in space. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. And don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Check, check. Regular, regular, regular. Check, check three. Under a minute left in the game. He throws it. And he lays out and got it for the score.
So the offense is going to go for two. The play clock's at zero. They took too much time. Delay of game. Offense. That penalty will move them back a bit. Yeah, and with so many young guys out there, it's bound to happen occasionally. They come out in a five-wide set. Kentucky to kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Under a minute left. Got a man. Watch out here. He's taken down around the 34-yard line. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. Down bounds at about the 49. That makes it first and ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49 yard line. He's tackled at the 30-yard line. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. He's scrambling. The ball pops free. And I think one of the big guys fell on it for the defense. Not a good time to fumble a football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. The booth is going to take a few looks at this to see whether or not the ball came out before he was down. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. The spike will stop the clock. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. Quick throw to the tight end. Wow, what a battle and what a stop right there. Congratulations to that defense. That's going to be the ball game. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, 19-14, Kentucky. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.